Morning, welcome to Farm Space. Uh, we here at Nampo, day five. And I've got Grant here from uh, One Farm Choice. What? No? no one, one Farm, farm Share, sorry. <laughs> and Hello Choice and partnership with Standard Bank. And we're going to quickly talk to them about what it is, what they do, and what the platform is supposed to do, and how that can work, help you as a farmer, how it can assist in the country, and what they're actually trying to achieve. This is for everyone. Come have a listen. Standard Bank's got a good idea here with uh, the partnership in partnership here with One Farm Share. And hello, Joyce. Grant, good morning. How are you? I'm very good, Dennis. How about you? I'm great. Thank you very much. Uh, Grant, uh, quickly give me a background. Uh, what's your role in the company? And then we can start at what one from Joyce is. Okay, fantastic. Um, my name is Grant Jacobs, and I'm the CEO and co founder of Hello Choice. We're an online marketplace. Uh, and One Farm Share is our strategic project with Santa Bank to deal with um, hunger relief and also um, help emerging farmers farmers commercialize. And it serves as, as a very nice platform for farmers to uh, get some financial benefit from some of their excess produce and also put their produce to a very good course. Okay. Uh, one form share as your, as your course. Um, how does it work in terms of uh, making it viable? So uh, you, uh, we spoke about earlier, you said to me that it's about um, making sure that food don't go to waste, making sure that there's something for the guy that, that does give it away um, to get back. And how does that whole process work? And how I make sure that I don't lose in this, um, in this endeavor? No problem, Tina. Um, one Farm Share is a very easy way for farmers who've got excess production or productions out of spec uh, to to make that produce available to uh, charities around the country. And those charities, at the moment, more than 2,200 charities nationally, registered charities. And what happens is that uh, farmers can list that uh, excess produce uh, onto One Farm Share. They can list it, a, list it for, a, a, for a donation. If it's a donation, they will get a Section 18A tax certificate back uh, or they, they can make it available at a special price. Okay. And then what happens is, uh, we arrange to pick it up. Uh, we also arrange that it actually, that it actually gets, uh, out to the registered beneficiary. So what it helps do is reduce food waste. Uh, sometimes farmers have got, uh, excess produce or produce or produce that's out of spec rather than actually, uh, rather than, uh, plying it back or in fact, uh, letting that letting that food go to waste, we channel it efficiently into, chari uh, into charities, and there's a financial benefit that goes back to the farmer. Okay, uh, we all know the current challenges in the world, not just the country, except for for uh, the food shortage or not food shortage, but uh, um, the amount of hunger we have, or poverty, and that sort of stuff. Um, but with COVID, uh, had a huge impact in the way we we work. There's um, a lot of our farmers couldn't get the, or still can't get the produce out of the country, and now have to get rid of it. So this is not just for the upper farmer. This is for the commercial farmer to make sure that 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 food doesn't go to waste, and he still gets the benefit from it. Hundred percent. One farm share is a tremendous benefit to commercial farmers uh, who you know, want to want to donate, or in fact have have excess produce which they are uh, which they are struggling starting to move, and it also supports emerging farmers. Uh, to help them aggregate so that they can, in fact, start to package their product better and, in fact, in, uh, improve their distribution into, into the formal market. Okay. I don't want to go to uh, – I'm still going to go into the other choice and how that works. Um, so that's an online pl platform for buyer and seller. Um, me as the buyer can make my price, am I right? Or I can go to auction. 100%. Um, Hello Choice is our commercial marketplace, and farmers can come on and list their product, and they can decide – if they want to list it uh, uh, for auction, and obviously if it's listed for auction, then in fact the price is set by buyers through a commercial bidding process, or they can uh, list it as a buy it now at a at a uh, set price. One of the very nice features we added in the last year is called uh, um, trade alerts. And what happens with trade alerts is that uh, as soon as a product is listed which meets a buyer's request, that buyer will get a notification to say, uh, you know, uh, this particular product is available from this farmer at, in fact, at, um, at a specific price. And then also the other thing we do now as well, we call it um, uh, weekend supply. And what happens is buyers are now placing requests for, requests with us 
And what happens, we notify farmers that in fact there is demand. And in fact, that's what we, that's what we call it, um, uh, um, uh, can you supply? And then obviously the farmer responds and says, yes, I can supply. And then off the back of that, the trade happens between the farmer and the buyer. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask some tough questions here. Yeah? Yes. Trade right. happens. I pay my money over. Yes. How do I make sure I get my produce and I don't get, I, I don't get, um, uh, get, I get screwed over and somehow? No, 100%. Uh, one of the, one of the massive benefits of value choice is that we actually provide secure payment between buyer and seller. So, uh, so, um, the, uh, uh, the payment only goes over to, to, to the seller once it's been collected or delivered by the buyer. So, uh, so what happens is that there is payment certainty for both buyer and seller, uh, when they transact through Hello Choice. Okay. So that term transaction gets hold. It's probably taking the set on hold. It's almost like a trust where it gets hold by you until everybody's happy and they quickly. This is my produce and I'm happy with it. Exactly right. Yes. Okay. If I have any problems, what happens then? Okay. Problems, I think, I think the critical thing about Hello Choice is we have a trained team of, uh, trade advisors. We have a, uh, contact center. And what happens is, uh, we've got a team which supports buyers in terms of queries, farmers and farmers in terms of queries to, to actually make sure that the, that the transaction goes as smoothly as possible. Okay, so that transaction goes through, oh, and I'm not quite happy. You're not just going to leave me and tell me, well, you use the platform at your own risk, uh, go move on. So you actually assist the, the, 100%, 100%. the farmer or the buyer. Both, both of them, yeah. One of, one, of, uh, one of the critical things about Hello Choice is that what we do is look after the interests of buy and seller. So Hello Choice is an independent platform, and if a part of our role is to actually make sure that there is a, a successful transaction which actually meets both the farmer and the buyer's needs. Okay. Uh, just on the auction side of things, how does the auction work? Is there certain times or is it the timed auction or how do you go? Oh, okay, that? very good. Uh, every single day at nine o'clock, we have a auction on Hello Choice for fresh produce. Uh, during, during dry bean season, we have a Wednesday auction at two o'clock. And in fact, the beauty of it is that the, the auction is very efficient. So we set the auction for half an hour. So it's actually not like an auction a sort of traditional auction, auction, we have to wait for one lot at a time. All those lots are, in fact, auctioned at the same time. So it is a very quick, efficient way for uh, for both farmers and uh, buyers to actually sell their product using the auction mechanism. Okay. Uh, and last question. Um, selling different kinds of uh, things, like livestock on the one side yes. and uh, lemons on the other side. Uh, lemons get graded very differently uh, than to livestock. You just want to think to be healthy, being free, all that stuff uh, to need all the certificates um does the app make um way for that make sure that that, that is actually because that's quite a wide range of things that's you have quite to a, yeah, 100%. one of the things we do uh do on the hello choice app is we actually group the products into different categories so we've got a section for for instance uh fruit vegetables um uh, free range beef nuts a uh, range of different products and and then what happens is that the buyers very easily able to find this product by going to that specific marketplace. But we've also, because it is digitized, you can search for a particular variety of, uh, variety of potatoes, for instance, or a particular size. And so what it, what it really is, is makes it very easy for the buyer to find this product either within a specific marketplace or else, or else using our different, using our different search, search mechanisms. So, and, and, and in fact, one of, one, and in fact, one of the beauties of it is that Rather than having to just know what's at a particular market, a buyer can see nationally what is available. Okay, Grant, I've got, I've got one more, one yes, more no, question no, yeah. uh, to ask you here. Um, if, uh, oh, I almost forgot my question here. Uh, if, I, if I buy from, buy from you as a, as a seller, do you yeah. check, do you check my, uh, my background, my um, qualification? Credit, qualification is very important. So um, uh, remember, Habit Choice is a business to business platform. And our, uh, our user activation team, uh, contacts and verifies every single seller, every, uh, every single buyer, um, um, to make sure that in fact we have a, have a successful transaction. Because ultimately that is, that is what it's about creating a trusted transaction between the seller and the buyer. And you're going to help the upcoming farmer or the new farmer to, exactly. to find a market. Exactly. Okay. I think it's absolutely great. Nice talking to you and I hope you can do it again. 
Thanks very much, Chase. Ooh, I'm not turning it around yet. There we go. Okay, here from Standard Bank. Make sure you don't miss out. Uh, come visit them here at Napo or phone, phone them one farm share. Uh, they're at the Standard Bank uh, uh, store. Um, come talk to them. Come talk to Grant and find out how they can assist you, what they can do for you. I think this is a great initiative and we can definitely solve more than one problem uh, with one farm share. Until next time. Cheers.